But I have a baby. He puked on all my shit. So I went and bought a Pacific Northwest sweatshirt. It's very cozy. Ooh. Like the, like the region itself. Normally. It's fucking 11 out there. It sucks. This is awful. I've spent two years of my life here. It's usually 48 and drizzly. Today it's sunny and negative 350 degrees. I'm like, this sucks. I'm fucking like back in New England. I've never been, it's never been this cold here before, has it? I mean, I know it has. Don't answer literally. But like, actually, um, winter of 81. I mean, on my Just saying in general, it's usually not that cold. Is that heater on? It looks yeah. on. Yep. It's, um, it just takes a while. It's a space heater. Oh, wow. yeah. It's on, man. My family's all firemen. They said space heaters used to keep them in business. So wow. I always blow up, blow up, but I think they're safer now. Yeah, because <laughs> they have that noise and they shut off automatically. They shut off, they fall over in fact, Maybe. we have like a heated massager thing. Because mm -hmm. Alyssa has a bad back. And it tur that turns off on its own also. So it's like, all the heated things are now... I'm sure there's way less fires. Yeah. That's interesting. I never think of an attractive person with a bad back. Well, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> you think bad back. You think like an old asshole. Oh, man. No, yeah. She's, she's got a... She's got bad lumbar. She's got a bad hip. Oh, wow. Yeah. My friend was staying at my friend's house. He's a wonderful man, and I love him. And he was like, let's do a fire tonight. I was like, what are you, in the house, you mean? I'm not outside. <laughs> We will die. I have a baby, he has children. You know that feeling when you're getting excited, you're like, I just want to do this thing, and then the weather doesn't cooperate, but you're like, I think we can still pull it off. I'm like, we will pass away if we go out the backyard. We'd have to sit in the fire. I feel like you guys are pushing back on this. You're like, no, we have a campfire in 18 degree weather. Oh, okay, fucking go sit outside then. I'll, I'll email you the video of this show. How are you doing, Steph? Yeah. How are you? Good. Tired, but good. We just rested for like 45 minutes, which was nice. And then the cold, I was saying the cold is like cocaine. It gives you like a nice like, woo! <laughs> like, oh, the old time, like, yeah, 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 I like that. The cold is like a sh cocaine. I was like tired. I haven't slept. I got a baby. I walked outside and I was like, yo! Do you find it refreshing when you first step out and you walk out and you're like, this isn't bad, it's actually not. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Shit! Ass! Ah! But there's like one second where you're like, hey. I'll go throw something away in the trash outside with just like a sweatshirt and you're like, I can, I can hang out for a little bit. Fuck! And I the trash and like, I have no jokes, by the way. I had a child. I'm not funny anymore. This is, this is the whole show. It's just me. Commenting on how it's chilly here. Well, I have a crazy show in West Seattle where my friends lived for years. There's still a slab of tire from me. In 2010, it was a big snowstorm. And I was hammered. My buddy was trying to drive up the hill. He lived on Pigeon Point, which is like one of those straight up San Francisco style. And he couldn't get up the hill. And I was drunk and I was from, I'm from New England. And I was like, I fucking pull over the car, you fucking bitch. <laughs> and his wife is from California. She's like literally crying in the back seat, like laying down crying. And I was like, I'll fucking show you how. And I went, <laughs> and the car was like, <laughs> and we like were fully spinning. And I finally just pulled up. I was like, yeah, we gotta park and go up. Yeah. We gotta walk. Oh my God. It was like 10 seconds in. I was like, this is insane. It was the most obnoxious I've ever been in my life. Where I was like, you're man, you're driving drunk. I was hammered. But there's still like a 13 foot rubber slab up this spot. Wow. And then we like we had a park and walk up there. That's horrible. And my buddy was like, yeah, that's, I, I told you. I don't know. I thought I could just drive up there. <laughs> yeah. But we were in like a like a like a Dodge Neo. I don't know why I thought like if you just hit the gas hard enough, this was will it climb a hill. Yeah. Uh, alcohol famously helps decision making. So. Yeah. I was like, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> and then uh, we went to go. Get some little knickknacks. We went to some of these little stores that all look the same. Yeah. They all sell like. How about same. this. And then Joe had a funny interaction with the lady at the, good. the craft store. Oh my god, it was so funny. Those this this lady goes, uh, you know, just in this day and age of like privilege and being mindful of. I had pulled some money out of my pocket. And I had my plane ticket, and I was like, oh, I got a plane ticket from three days ago. Just talking. She was like, I got you B. 
I got in my RAV4, and we haven't driven it in so long because we have a Tesla. I get my RAV4, and there's $400 in cash on the dashboard. I just left it there. <laughs> I was like, what a weird story to tell customers. She's like, yeah. holy shot. She's like, I just forgot about $400 in my second car because I wasn't using my Tesla. Anyways, we're past six weeks, so we can have sex again, which is exciting. We're back at it. Uh, do you love sex? Isn't it the best? I don't think my balls play with it. How do you guys feel about your balls play with it? Do you like your balls play with it? You love it? Yeah? This section, it's all one section, looks it? I love it. What's up when you guys came here? Like, do you like your balls play with You're over at table three and four. I was talking about this the other game. Uh, the, other, the other game. That was Freudian. The other game. Nice. It's the autism section over there. <laughs> Looks like a needle got stuck. You're like, too scared, too scared, too scared, too scared. <laughs> Glad you're here, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gonna be a hot clip. <laughs> clip that shit. <laughs> Woo! That's gonna send me right to the top, baby. I, I got a feeling I don't wanna. I don't, I don't wanna jinx anything. Next time I come here, Tacoma Dome. That's what I'm thinking. We gotta do two. Tacoma Dome, baby. We're gonna roll out those bleachers. What a shithole, my God. That was, is that place existing? It's crazy. Austin that was... wearing hoodie. What's that? Austin wearing hoodie. <laughs> that Austin shirt wearing hoodie. You said that like this is like right before a street fight. <laughs> Mustard wearing hoodie. Look at this hoodie. Is this obnoxious to wear the Pacific Northwest sweatshirt in the Pacific Northwest? No, I think people like that. I think people like the. Um... I think people in Pacific Northwest generally appreciate the, a pander. I'm not saying that's heavy pandering, but that's light pandering. I'm moving here. You also will wear occasionally the college, local college regalia on the stage. People appreciate that. They go, this guy went to our gift shop. But you buy the, you buy it. I buy it, I don't wear it to the show. You don't wear it to the show? I don't think so. You could be like a, like a, a rapper and wear like a jersey of like, like you're in Phoenix, you wear a Kevin Durant jersey. That's like, yeah, people do that, musicians do that too. Like Eddie Vedder will come out with like a Red Sox jersey in Boston, you know. Like, yeah. Whoa. I feel like the universe was like testing me leading up to the baby being because I kept having runners with other people's kids. I was in a hotel elevator a few months ago and uh, I got in the elevator and there was like a little kid on the elevator. I don't know why I went this high. He was like this high. But his dad was also there. It doesn't matter how tall these people were. I'm just doing a weird. The dad was 5'10", the kid was 2'4". <laughs> you know what people say from kids' heights? He's 1'9". Is that funny? Did I just stumble on something hilarious? I think you just say he's 19 inches. You're never like, he's 1'7". That's gold. We just came up with comedy gold together, guys. This is my son. He's 2'2". Two, two. He's about 3-4. Defense. 3-4 defense. Come on, guys. This is right off the top of my head. Woo! You guys need a, co you need a couple coaches around here. The fuck that way? Don't get mad at me, you assholes. I'm just saying. It wasn't like I was like, fuck you, you sons of bitches. I'm making conversation here. Jesus. I'm just saying. All right, well, whatever. You don't need coaches. Then. I think I can do it. Don't you feel like? You know? Got it? Blitz. You gonna take the headset off? I got too silly. I made it too silly. Sorry, guys. Let's rain it in. Let's let's Tacoma Rainier it in. I'll stop pandering now. But uh, I'm moving here. What do you think about that?
Nick is back because nobody's supporting this. Luke. I, I, I think it's great. I've been, I've been, I've been completely supportive of it. You're a fantastic friend. You know, wow, this is softer than I anticipated. I didn't sit on this couch yesterday. <laughs> Wait, I can make it work. You know what I have to think about doing it? It's not even telling anybody. Because here's the thing, especially with the podcast. You tell people, everyone goes, oh, it hasn't been the same. You don't tell people, nobody knows. You can't give the audience any clue that something's changed. Right. Ever then, since uh, this guy got married, the band when, sucks. When you talk about it on the podcast, it'd be hard not to. That's where you really. You have to. You could also. You could disguise it and just go, man, oh, man. I was on the plane the other day. That was crazy. I was in Seattle. That yeah. was insane. You could not talk about it for years. Because as soon as you do, they go, oh man, this thing has not changed. It would be like hiding your sexuality or something. Yeah. But I do that all the time. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get practice. The crowd didn't go crazy in this thing. Like a light clap. I have, that was a good I have light clap. <laughs> Hello, folks. Get me out there. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I thought of the same joke. I thought, eh, I don't need to do that. Boy, all right. I think I have one more, baby. We'll move on. I know some of you are like, is the whole show baby? Now? Isn't that the worst when you have your favorite comedian as a baby? And you guys are like, you're not my favorite comedian. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Shane Gillis had a baby? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think this is, uh, I think that's all. Oh, this one, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, right, last time I was at Tacoma, I went to the monster truck rally with Shane, and uh, it, was, it was fun. And then Shane was like, I'm not drinking. And then some guy brought him a Bud Light, and he was like, I guess I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, I've never been here when it wasn't low. 38 is the lowest I've ever had here. You're saying no. I'm not saying that's the lowest temperature ever. I'm saying that I've experienced here. Let me just get right to the jokes. I thought I would... I thought I would small talk a little, just kind of ease into it. You guys are correct. I'm not saying that this is the love. I'm saying it, it gets cold, but typically it's a little more mild here. I don't know. I live in New York. It's warmer here. That? Yes. Fuck you. I can look up stats. I've spent many... Days here and many days there. It's colder there. I know some asshole's gonna pull up a fucking weather chart after the show and be like, actually, um, but you know. We'll... We got off to a bad start. I'm sorry. I really, I love you guys. I appreciate it. I love coma and I'm happy to be here. I might move here. I swear to God, I'll do it. Obviously, but Gig Harbor, I'll move to. That's a hell of a town. You guys been over there? That's a town. Way less broken glass in front of every car. Oh my god. I haven't seen one person shooting heroin in Gig Harbor. Oh, too far again. Alright, just trying to figure out what's funny and what's not. All right. It's great. Tacoma's great. Not this particular part of Tacoma, but... The club's awesome. Best club. This is the best club. Certainly in, within a thousand miles, I would say. I don't want to say best club anywhere. It's damn good. i say that. Everything's recorded now. I don't want them sending this to, you know... Madison, Wisconsin, they're like, what the fuck is this? You said we were the best, but this is a very... It's great. Let me get to the jokes. I should just do the show. But yeah, it's cold. No snow, by the way. I got here, I showed up on Tuesday. Every single person I bumped into was like, heads up, there's a blizzard coming, everyone's gonna die. It snowed for four seconds Thursday night. They're like, school's gonna be canceled, there's gonna be no show. Every... Seven people emailed me, they're like, what do you do if the show's canceled? Can we come to your house? And, uh, here we are. No snow. A little chilly. Right. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to get sound effects involved in my act. I'm very good at it. Underrated. <laughs> what? I'm out of jokes. <laughs> Check out this gun. Right? 
Jurassic Park was his grave. Hey. What if this is the rest of the show? If I just did this for 30 more minutes? It'd be one of those things where it got really unfunny, but then it would come back around. So like, like 28 minutes later, you'd be like, this is pretty good, actually. <laughs> The whole show's not about babies. I know, some of you guys come to see a comedian, you're like, oh no, he had a baby, the whole show's baby. This is, we're wrapping up the baby section. More baby? Glad you said that, because there is more baby. That's why I started to bring him to every show. He's like, more baby stuff! I have him do it with every, whatever material I have. He's like, do Tacoma, local stuff. It's pretty cold out, isn't it? Come on, I love you so much.